you're in Edinburgh and you want to get above the city in sunshine like this, I don't blame you. So allow me to show you the three main routes to the top of Arthur's Seat. In this week's video, I will show you the easy way, the moderate way, and the hard way <laughs> to reach Edinburgh's highest point. Hello, I'm Tom Bushell, and here on the Planet Playground YouTube channel, I explore destinations through sport and adventure because our planet is our playground. Don't forget to subscribe, it really does help the Planet Playground YouTube channel. I'd love you to like the video and comment below with any questions as well. Arthur's Seat, perhaps Edinburgh's most famous natural landmark, an extinct volcano rock that towers above the city, reaching a height of 823 feet. On any given day, hundreds, if not thousands, climb to its summit to soak up the views of the city. Here we go then, the first of three climbs up Arthur's Seat today. A nice easy one to get us going. Although I should have started with the hard one, really. The easy route begins with a footpath that starts right on the banks of Dunsappy Lock. To make the easy route even easier, you can actually drive up the Queen's Drive in Holyrood Park and you can park in this car park. and It's right opposite the path that leads straight up to the summit. The first climb of the day involves a gradual incline up the grassy hillside. What's nice about this first easy trail up to Arthur's Seat Summit is you can see the summit all the way up the path. So your goal is always right in front of you. And whilst your goal is in front of you, don't forget to look back from time to time. As you climb up this grassy hillside of Arthur's Seat then, the amazing views across East Slovian and towards North Berwick come into view. And what a coastline. They call it Scotland's Gulf Coast because it is littered with golf courses. to Arthur's Seats Hillside and you'll keep walking up until the grass ends and the terrain flattens out briefly. And once you've got to the top of the grassy hillside, you'll be on to the final stretch, a little scramble up to the summit for our first summit of the day. On this easy route, you'll climb a stone path from the bottom of the summit mound, then join a staircase before a very short scramble up to Edinburgh's highest point. That is summit number one. Reaching the summit on the easy route from the Queen's Drive will take you around 30 minutes. It is the one to do for views of the East Lovian coast and the south of Edinburgh. And just a good pair of trainers will be all you need. Plus some clothes, of course. Great, that's the first one done. The easy one, it is easy, but it will take your breath a little bit as you walk up that hillside. But now, back to the bottom of the hill to do it all over again. This time, the moderate path. So it's back down the hill, ready to start again. Here we go then, hike number two of the day, and this is the moderate way up Arthur's Seat. The moderate route will begin on a tarmac footpath right outside the Palace of Holyrood House. Walk along until you reach the junction and turn left following the signs to the Arthur's Seat Summit. The northeastern path is the one to choose for stunning views of the Leith area of Edinburgh and with it starting at the bottom of the Royal Mile, it's a great way to extend your exploration of the city on foot. But one thing you should know about this route up Arthur's Seat is it is by far and away the busiest path. So if you like your walks and your hiking in solitude and not too busy, then this one isn't for you. 
following the Arthur Seat Summit sign, you'll bear right and start climbing across some rocky terrain before walking the clear path directly to the summit. About halfway up this track, you'll start to find the biggest steps you've ever come across. <laughs> They're enormous. Easter Road Stadium down there, the home of Hibernian FC. Of course, I was there for the Edinburgh Derby not too long ago. What a match day experience that is. If you love your football whilst in Edinburgh, you can watch the video, I'll put the link in the description below. As you get to the top of the track, the uh, path will turn back into steps to take you up to the first little plateau for the moderate route. I like to take the first right when you get to the top of the path and then you'll continue on a path upwards before that last little bit of scrambling up to the summit. The moderate hike, whilst the busiest one, is the most accessible and perfect for families walking from the city centre up to the summit. The views of Leith and Fife are brilliant and it will take around 40 minutes. Good footwear is all that is required, although bear in mind it can get muddy if it has been raining, which it does do from time to time in Edinburgh. So that's the moderate hike done. Now. Time to get back down to the bottom. <laughs> and it is time for the third and final ascent. I have left the hardest until the last. The steepest way up Arthur's Seat is on the west side of the hill with a path beginning from the Queen's Drive before the hard work begins. At the V-junction, take the path to the right, which will lead you to the most challenging walk to the Arthur Seat Summit. This route is basically just like a giant rock staircase that takes you up sharply, but quickly. The path switches back on itself many times, so with every turn, you get a different angle of the city of Edinburgh and Holyrood Park. This way up will take you about 45 minutes to get to the summit. And given the severity of the climb, it's up to you on how you approach it, either by foot or It's a steep climb, but you do get some phenomenal views of Edinburgh. You could look at this city all day, couldn't you? Especially in sunshine like this. After about half an hour or so, you come to the top of the staircase and you'll join a path which will then wind you round towards the summit for the third and final time. And I'm about to get back into the sunshine, which means, there it is, we are nearing the top of Arthur's seat. That's better. Preston Field Golf Club down there. I was looking recently at how many golf courses there are in Edinburgh. <laughs> the number is staggering, absolutely staggering. If you have any idea, if you want to take a guess of how many golf courses there are in the city of Edinburgh, uh, then comment below with your guess. Don't Google it. Apologies, I sounded like an angry teacher there. <laughs> anyway, give it a go. So once you've walked along this flat stretch of the path at the top of the staircase on the west side of Arthur's Seat, your bear left and this is our final approach to the summit. Once you've climbed up to the top of that path, it's just a case of walking over this flat plateau at the top, and then one more little push up to the summit. The last little push up to the summit of Arthur's Seat does mean 
it does involve a little bit of scrambling and loose rock and there are many ways you can do it but it's just a case of finding the route that works for you really And there we go, a guide to all three main routes for reaching the summit of Arthur's Seat. Let me know in the comments below which one you choose to do when you climb this famous hill in this brilliant city. Next in my Summer in Scotland series, I explore the Caledonian Canal to show you the five ways you can explore this magnificent waterway in the Scottish Highlands. Watch now and to subscribe, just hit my stomach. Ow! Not that hard, thanks.